My name is Kees Vermeeuw. I'm the co-founder of, uh, of Ownit. And my focus is on business development. I believe uh, in order to be successful that you need to dare to take uh, risks, both in business, but also in personal life. And uh, the best interactions happen when you dare to get out of your comfort zone. My name is Fiona Decker. I joined Ownit as the third partner in the role of operational go-getter. I'm the one that uh, finishes everything we do. And uh, I'm driven by continuous development, both of myself and the organization I work for and of the people we are offering our product to. Virtual reality is, is changing the field of education uh, at last, I would say, because if you look at technology, technology changed society. Everything is instantly available. Up to 10 years ago, you needed to trust the expert. Today, everybody is an expert. If I look at my children, they have so much knowledge about so many different subjects uh, because just by watching YouTube. However, if you look at education and soft skills, it's largely the same. It's classroom training. Of course, there is e-learning, but this is mainly applicable for knowledge. And um, VR, virtual reality, is the first technology that allows us to train soft skills outside of the classroom. And it is much more effective. So ONIT is all about interpersonal skills. We offer skills training to increase both your emotional intelligence and your professional impact. Trainees develop a better awareness of social dynamics. So understand the impact you have on other people and the behavior of other people has on yourself. Uh, we do this using interactive role plays and lectures. And specific skills we offer are, for example, masterful listening, discussing interpersonal relations, strategic sales conversations, and dealing with resistance. Well, with ONIT, we challenge the traditional way of training soft skills. We believe that classroom events are perfect for networking, sharing ideas, being inspired, etc. Uh, but really training your skills requires a different approach. Think about sports, for example. Uh, if you want to improve your skills in any sport, you would always be told that it will take time and practice to do so. But in professional education, we will send people to a one or two day classroom training uh, and then we think they will manage that skill. With our VR based soft skill training, we stimulate people uh, to step into the learning zone. And that's more like the sports way of learning. Uh, it's micro learning, it's short training modules, 10 to 20 minutes, focused on a specific topic. It's immersive. It's distraction free. You're completely in the training module, uh, which helps with retention. It's a safe environment to ex uh, experiment and make mistakes. And you have the opportunity to practice over and over again and to mix it in your daily life to really master the skill. And that's exactly what we do with our VR scenarios. You decide what you learn when you learn and where you learn. And you do this in the safety of the VR uh, device. How this works? Um, well, we send you a, a VR device, uh, which you can use anytime you like. And in the device, there's two parts. We have a lecture, a short, it's about 10 minutes uh, theoretical framework, and we have an interactive role play. Uh, and that's about 20 minutes. So you just, uh, anytime you like, you put on the device uh, and you start the training. So whenever you need it, you just pick up the device, you put it on and you can practice your training. So people have used our modules uh, to prepare for conversations they find hard uh, because we offer them with the uh, interactive role play. Uh, they can practice and experiment uh, with different types of behavior and different types of reactions and then see what the typical reaction from the other party would be. They also can use the theoretical framework to understand better uh, what happens in the interaction and to prepare uh, what other options they have to respond to behavior they find difficult. 
So people typically use ONIT training for conflict resolution, motivating teams and appraisals at work. Well, let's let's first take a look at how they can use it, uh, MBA students, how they can use uh, virtual reality outside the classroom, because that's where the learning is done. That's where you watch in your own time, whenever you want, whenever it's important or urgent for you. Uh, you do the training scenarios, again, the lecture and the, the role plays. That's where you learn. And inside the classroom, you have time to reflect with a small group of people who've done the same scenarios and put the learning into your own, uh, own business context. And the great things of this reflection session is that you go deep straight away because everybody had the same experience. So with Own It, we flip the classroom. Traditionally, you learn in the classroom and you reflect on your way home or once home. Uh, with Own It, you train at home using your own uh, personal VR device uh, and you reflect in the classroom, uh, sparring with other people, sharing experiences and deepening the learning. In 2020, PwC did an uh, extensive study uh, regarding the effectiveness of virtual reality learning versus classroom training and e-learning. And it shows that v-learners are 275% more confident to act on what they learned after training. And that's, uh, for training, it's, it's a very important number, three times more confident. This means that they will put this into practice. And how come? It's interesting, uh, as a former classroom trainer, I had some blind spots. And one of these blind spots is that in if you want to learn something, you have the learning zone and the performance zone. If you compare it to, let's say, tennis, the, the learning zone is the training. For example, if you have to practice a, a top spin backhand and you're not capable of it yet, the first uh, 100 times it will not go inside the lines. And that's learning. And it's okay because you're learning something new. In the performance zone, it's in the game. You want the ball to go into the into the lines. But in order to learn, you need to be a lot, uh, loads of time in the learning zone. And that's the great advantage of virtual reality. There's no social risk. So you experiment. And from experimenting, you learn. While in the classroom, you are in the performance zone. There are colleagues, there are uh, there are students and you don't want to make mistakes. And we have learned that in order to learn, you need to dare to make mistakes. You need to experiment. Another very interesting number is that they are 1.5 times more focused than their classroom peers. And today's learners are often impatient, distracted and overwhelmed. I mean, we are multitasking all day. And the great thing with virtual reality, it's you cannot multitask. It's totally immersive. You are totally in in the scenario, in the lecture, and therefore you're much more focused. It's four times faster than classroom training on average. They uh, compared two hours classroom training takes 30 minutes virtual reality training. And another interesting part is that uh, with virtual reality, people are almost four times more emotionally connected to the content than classroom learners. And this is an important number because people connect, understand, and remember things more deeply when their emotions are involved. So this is a very effective way of learning. And last but not least, it's also much more fun. So the, um, what ONIT offers are generic modules for uh, developing interpersonal skills. And these skills will make you more impactful uh, in a business context. Um, so basically our uh, trainings are applicable for anyone working with people. Um, but there could also be sector specific trainings, like for example, um, in education, people working at schools, uh, it's hard to send all the staff of a school to a full day classroom training, uh, but it's still really a lot of uh, personal, interpersonal skills required to deal with students and parents and stuff. Uh, so we'll also develop sector specific trainings, but it's always interpersonal.
In 10 years from now, we'll have a huge library with all kinds of interpersonal skills trainings uh, that are used by organizations all around the world. Uh, and as I mentioned before, it will be both generic modules uh, and sector specific. So hopefully all people uh, working in education, healthcare, and all other sectors that are struggling to uh, make time for training are then using ONIT training to develop their own personal skills.